Now let's get into the success attitude formula. This formula shows you how to unlock and open the door to opportunity. At one time, it was taught that opportunity only knocks once. Well, that's just not true. People then began to say that opportunity doesn't knock just once. It's everywhere. It knocks all the time. But I say that's not the truth either. Opportunity is a noun. Look it up in the dictionary. It can't knock. You knock. You put the key in the door of opportunity, and you unlock it. And when you walk through the door, it's because that's what you wanted to do. Nouns don't knock. The success attitude formula gives you the ability to blow the opportunity door off its hinges once you know that that's what you want to do is get on the other side of that door. It does not fail, ever. Everything you have done, everything anyone has ever done, is as a result of this formula. So you can take this to the bank. You can quit. But the formula will never let you down. If you don't apply it, the formula is not the failure. Then you are, or I am, if we don't apply it. But if you apply it, it's because you have a core desire, and it'll push you to do it. And not to worry. It's quite easy. Remember, following your heart's easy. The hard part is finding out what you want with all your heart. So here's the formula. SA equals CD plus D times PA plus P. Did you get that? SA equals CD plus D times PA plus P. Here it is. SA equals success attitude. CD is core desire. D equals direction. PA, proper action. And P is persistence. Remember that you're smart enough to learn whatever someone's willing to teach you. That's not even a question. So when the skill and attitude you learn from a mentor is taught to you, you can then create the opportunity and make it happen. I don't care if it's karate or making money. You, you might even surprise yourself. You probably will with the things you can do. You'll acquire talents. You'll acquire attitudes and viewpoints and change yourself. you become bigger and better thanks to your core desires and your conquering force. Now, when you have the faith and confidence or faith in yourself, you will attempt to do more. And you will do more. So where do you get that faith and confidence? The Greeks defined faith as action out of confidence. So when you have to have more faith, the more confidence you have, the more faith you have, the more action you will take. But where do you go get faith and confidence? Well, my formula shows you how to do that. CD is core desires. Use those strong, powerful, heartfelt desires that measure 100 on a scale. I've already talked a lot about that. Find the overwhelming, overarching desire that is so strong that will, it'll tap into your conquering force instantly. I've already covered that in great detail, so I'm not going to spend any more time on it. Here's an analogy to help you see how to apply this. Let's say your core desire to go to the Smithsonian Institute in Washington, D.C., and you live in California, 3,000 miles away. Notice that having a core desire won't get you there. You know you want to go there, but it doesn't get there. You've seen and heard and read things about it, and oh, you really want to go. But for you, it's not possible. You just can't see how you're going to make it happen. It's the ultimate trip, though. So core desires by themselves won't get you there, but you can't see how to make it happen. That's why you need the D, which stands for direction. You need to know how to get there. What's the best way? for you to get from where you live to the Smithsonian. If you head south, you'll probably hit Mexico and then go all the way around the world and eventually get there 25,000 miles later. But that's not the quickest route. There's a better way. You could guess where Washington, D.C. is and head in that general direction. You'll end up taking a lot of unnecessary side trips and encounter detours and road work and, and just get lost. That's how people oftentimes function through life. Not necessary when you have correct direction. The shortest distance between two points is a straight line, and it doesn't make any sense to go in a crooked line. Go straight as possible towards the desired objective. Doesn't that make sense? The smart move would, buy, would be to buy a map on the United States or go to MapQuest and trace the best route to Washington, D.C. It may not be as simple as a map that you can buy when you're trying to figure out how to increase your income, or double it or triple it or to get more free time to play or, or to overcome personality traits that are holding you back or causing problems in your marriage or whatever. But if you ask a mentor how they did it, whatever it is you want to do, there's your map. He or she will teach you what they did. And if you have several mentors like I did, I had at least 30 or 35 of them. And they all taught me very important things and gave me my roadmap that I needed at that point in my life. 
So the next thing I'm going to do is give you the five ways to clearly define the direction you must take to achieve your core desires. That's coming up in the next segment.